pork belly here and I'm going to trim it up and then I'm going to put some dry cure on it and I'm going to cure it. And that's going to be pancetta, which is an Italian cured pork. So this is a pretty big pork belly. Got it at my local butcher. Nice and thick, but I want to trim it so it fits better in this container. I want to just take off any sort of bits, flappy bits. I don't really need the ends. So I'm just going to trim it. I'm going to use my butcher's knife here and I'm just going to cut a nice straight square edge and I'm going to save these bits for making sausage. I just like it square, it's easier to slice. The link to the video for my dry cure is down below in the description. Just want to liberally sprinkle in a thick spot. You might want to put a little more. Just going to sprinkle it on there and I'm going to put this in the fridge and just dry it out and turn it into pancetta. Okay, it's two days later and I've pulled my pork belly out of the fridge. There's quite a bit of liquid in the bottom here. That's a good sign. The pork belly itself is turning darker and it's getting a little, a little stiff, a little harder to the touch, which is good. Now I'm just going to sprinkle some more dry cure on top. Just a light dusting is all we need. And that's basically it. I'm going to put a little bit more on the thick bits. This is now going to go back into the fridge. This is six days later and I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. There's a lot of liquid in the bottom, quite a bit darker, and it's firm to the touch. I'm sure from my observations that the cure has penetrated all the way into the middle of the pork belly, so I'm ready to go to the next phase. The next stage is I'm gonna rinse this under cold water to get any excess salt and sugar off the exterior of the pork belly, and then I'm going to Hang it to dry over several days, maybe even a week or two. I'm going to weigh this now before I dry it out. And then I'm going to compare that weight to my finished weight. 1.37 kilograms, which is 1,370 grams. What I'm looking for here is a reduction of about 30% in weight. That would make it safe to eat raw. Traditionally, this would just be done in a cellar. I'm just gonna dry it in a fridge. I have an industrial fridge and it has a fan at the top and that fan blows air over the meat the entire time. It's around 50% humidity, it's like two degrees centigrade. It's just a safe place to do it. There is so much salt in this now and so little water that bacteria cannot grow within this meat. It's like bacon, but it's not smoky. It can be sliced and eaten raw. It's also used a lot in pastas. I also use this as a salt pork for traditional maritime recipes, chowders, baked beans, things like that. I start with a dried cured pork. 